Dominic Toczynski, what are you doing here at the Eagle Council? Well, first of all, I'm very honored to be here. Uh, I was invited to receive an award. Uh, Eagle Awards, so it's a great honor to me. You became kind of famous with an interview you did with Katie Hopkins. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I wouldn't use the uh, word famous, but everyone uh, was really surprised that she is surprised that politicians can be very straightforward. How many refugees has Poland taken? Zero. And you're proud of that? If you are asking me, if you're, if you are asking me about Muslim uh, Muslims' illegal immigration, none, not even one, will come to Poland. Not even one if it's illegal. What's the trick to be, be able to answer a question like that? Be honest. Believe. Do what you believe in. Be honest and fight for your nation. Jack Posobiec, how did you and Dominic get involved? You know, really it was through uh, watching a lot of his interviews, believe it or not, with Kathy Newman, our, one of my favorite presenters from, uh, from Channel 4. And, uh, you know, absolutely love her work. Kathy, if you're watching, keep up the great work. You're doing a fantastic job. But you know, watching some of Dominic's interviews with her, I just thought, this is fantastic. The things that he's saying, I mean, he's basically like the Trump of Poland with just very simple, frank, common sense solutions, common sense statements. And when Hitler lost his war, Stalin took over. And we've been under the Soviet occupation for 70 years. So for my grandpa, war, the, the war never ended. Because what is the difference, Hitler or Stalin? So after 1945, he joined the army underground army to fight against Soviets. The things he experienced and over 150,000 soldiers who never stopped fighting against Soviet new occupation was terrible. To be killed was the best solution. They lost their nails, teeth, they lost their, their eyes. That's what they had to go through before they were shot, basically. That is why, for Poland, for me, it is so important to be independent. We know how it is not to be independent. We know how it is, what it means, sovereignty. We had a Hitler, we had a fascism, we had a Stalin, we had a communists, and now we might have radical Islamists. That's why I will commit, I will, I will spend all my life not to let it happen. I will never, ever let any Islamist to kill my son or grandson. I will never, ever let any second or third generation of Islamists who came or will about, are about to come to Europe kill my son or daughter. I will never let any Islamist rape my daughter. But this is what is happening now in Germany. This is what is happening in France. This is what is happening in every leftist state. And it has nothing to do with the prejudice. It has nothing to do with Islamophobia. It's all about logic. It's about our experience, our European experience. It's about this madness which was started by the leftists. And this madness will be stopped by Poland. You know, John F. Kennedy once said in Berlin, when he was in Berlin, he said, I am a Berliner, ich bin ein Berliner. And after your speech, I would like to say, I am a Polish. Yes, <laughs> It was in the 80s, at the time of Ronald Reagan, you know, and for me, at that time, through this radio, through Voice of America, the U.S. were a model for democracy. It was the country of the free, and this was, it was the torch of liberty. You know, and now I'm standing here with you, and I feel the same spirit like that.
Well, Ed asked me to, to tell something about the AFD. You know, I, I didn't want it uh, to do that, but uh, um, maybe you recognize that you saw it. There was an Antifa in front of the door. <laughs> we, we have a veteran of, 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 uh, of the Vietnam War here, and Alan, you know, as a, as a soldier, he went out to the Antifa and I asked him, stupid, what are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> They confirmed, they confirmed, they said, yeah, there is a guy from the Nazi party from Germany. <laughs> <laughs> well, how does it come to the refugee from Czechoslovakia? It's a Nazi. <laughs> 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 was chosen of a, 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 in a secret vote as a leader of the Nazi party from Germany. <laughs> uh, well, uh, just let me say that AFD is the only it's the only party in the German parliament which has no NSDAP, NSDAP members in their role. So all the others, all the others have the former Nazis in their role. Even the socialists, the, the Christian Democrats, all. But not we. We have no one. The reason why they are calling us Nazis is because we are the only party which is anti-establishment. That's the real reason. Yeah. <laughs> I am very proud to have friends like you here in the USA. And I assure you, you have such friends in Poland and Germany uh, all around Europe. And All of us, we, we are the conservative movement, we are the conservative revolution, and you know, I am here as an MP, and so, so I have to express myself very diplomatically and distinguish. So let me say it in this word, the words, uh, well, let's kick leftist ass. <laughs> on illegal immigration in 2006, which got me in trouble because the Obama administration did not like me arresting illegal immigrants, and they charged me with a little contempt of court, which made it very difficult for me to be re-elected a couple years ago, especially when you have George Soros put $4 million against me and you had biased judges trying to hang me, but I survived. And the overwhelming migration, the hijra, that was introduced into Europe by the self-titled Chancellor of the Migrants, Angela Merkel, has routed that country. Now, is Europe doomed? Hardly. With leaders like Peter and Dominic, you can turn this around. But the people have to get behind them. The smear, the mocking, the ridicule, the defamation of AFD is part of the war in the information battle space. They mean to destroy the message by destroying the messenger. You have to be smart, you cannot be passive, and you have to stand in defense of your freedoms. The time is now. You are reaching a tipping point. I met a German politician, uh, I met a Polish politician, and we jawboned about the EU and migration and all kinds of exciting stuff. And I think, if I read my cards right, I got invited to a conference in Germany. So, Auf Wiedersehen!